kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Memory. One day the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, uh. Hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh, sorry, I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry, I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But Cookie, you keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah, remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry, I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great. All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm. Let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm. The ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? <sighs> I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, You're right. right! How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. Oh. I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine huh? show has already started. Oh, no! Uh -huh. That wraps up the best show we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? Sorry, we started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this. Look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. So I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's request in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind. And he used his special notebook to help him remember. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now I can learn to play all sorts of tunes! You could play us lullabies at bedtime.
say something really fun for our games. <laughs> but first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. <laughs> Yo -ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> Arr, our pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr, oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr. Arr, don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr, Arr. I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm, I think you can help me. Can help me, can help me. Hey, hey. <laughs> all hands on deck. But what about your practice? Oh, that, I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Hey! Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. That's from our favorite show. I would love to play that. Ba -ba 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 hey! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. Old things, new thing. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to get rid of all the things in the house that were broken. What's going on? Are we moving or something? We're moving out all the things we don't need in the house. <laughs> <laughs> they're all moving to the junkyard. Oh, which is where they belong. Kittens, if there's something you don't need anymore, just add it to the pile. You'll have more room to play once your old stuff is gone. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens decided to go through the toy box. <laughs> Train engine without wheels. Guess I don't need this anymore. I don't need it either. Me neither. One for the junkyard. What about this baby rattle, guys? I don't need it. I don't need it. I would like to keep that to give to my little kitten doll. Then it stays, right? 
Tricycle. I used to love it so much. It's way too small for any of us to ride. Mm. Another junkyard. No, wait. Not this. Uh, uh, what if I want to ride it again someday? But why? You've got a bicycle now, Pudding. Sure, but look. My bike only has two wheels, but this has three. But um, that thing isn't fast at all. Sure it is. Just watch me. Pudding decided to ride the tricycle to the playground. Pudding, it'll be winter by the time you get here riding on that thing. Hi there. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Uh, what are you on, Pudding? I thought tricycles were just for little kittens. No, they're not. Clowns ride them all the time, and clouds are super awesome. But, Pudding, you're not a little kitten or a clown. Why do you need to keep that tricycle? Well, uh, it's easier to balance on a tricycle. <laughs> and you can ride around at a gentle pace and look at all of nature's wonders. Ah. Uh. That's kind of true. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> How's it going, kittens? Have you sorted out the things you do and don't want to keep? We kind of did. Uh, hey, where's Pudding? On his way home as fast as he can ride. He's on the tricycle he had when he was a little kitten. <laughs> Pudding, why are you riding the old tricycle? It's for tiny kittens. You're a big boy now. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that I need it. I just used to love riding it very much. Along paths, over puddles, everywhere. <laughs> How can I just send it to the junkyard after all that? It just seems wrong. There's nothing to worry about, darling. We were never planning to send your tricycle to the junkyard. Really? If it isn't broken, it won't get thrown away. If something is still in good shape, we'll give it to someone who can use it. That sounds wonderful. Look here. Hi, kittens. Pudding's tricycle went to his baby cousin. He'll give it a good home. Thank you, brother. And thank you, Pudding, too. <laughs> All right, thank your cousin Pudding for the tricycle. <laughs> wow, that's great. Looks like he loves riding the tricycle as much as I did back when I was a little kitten. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> so the kitten saw that you can give away the things you've grown out of. They might be old for you, but they're new and exciting for someone else. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. Huh? And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But, Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and 
everyone will love, love, love it! And I'll become a great fashion designer! <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah. I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. What are you doing? Oh, Thing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. You'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win as long as your friends and family are with you. Kitty Clothes One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, mm. except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, Pudding, you can cut them out. needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. 
looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good, yeah, that feels a lot better. Mm, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh, that's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right, they still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> That is way better! Come on, Pudding, let's see your walk. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, I can't walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you are all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If you practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome, and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Mommy. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? Uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rugs oh, for us. Could do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Look at the carefree cat. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat, turn on your cleaning mode. What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Laundry Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. Ah. But then something went wrong. Laundry is done. Please remove your 
<laughs> oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. The Mysterious Cake Chomper One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made! Can't wait to try it! We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper. Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. And it was hooting like an owl. It ate the cake and then ran off. Somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Woo, 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 woo. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Woo-hoo, woo-hoo! Oh. 
Oh, it looks like the cake chopper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chopper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> 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 so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. Kitty Cats Back in Time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves, just like this one. Ah! <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark but very exciting. Hey, hey! Hi! <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes. And they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here. I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing. But it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right. Be back soon. That was your mommy telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no, we're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. 
Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more, so the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, cheeky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's going to be so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the lunch. Oh. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> What if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy. Aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on. Look at that. The pinwheel. They're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. 
Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. Championship. With only a few more days left until kickoff, you can bet the stadium will be flooded with fans very soon. And here comes our city's own team and their glorious captain. Are we going to the stadium too? Of course we are, kittens. It's the only way to truly support our team. Oh. In fact, I was just about to call and book our tickets this minute. We'll get to watch the game right there at the stadium, just like real fans! So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! <laughs> we'll get to see our team win! And after the game, we can drive back waving our winning team's flags! No! No! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, no! Oh, what happened, honey? There are no more tickets left. They've already sold out every seat. Oh, all is lost. Oh. It doesn't really matter, my darling. I'm sure we'll survive. We'll just watch the game on television. <laughs> Come now, I'll make some nice tea for you. Poor Daddy, he's such a mega fan. I feel bad for him now. Attention, soccer fans. The contest for the best trick with a soccer ball is now underway. The winner will be awarded an official team ball presented by the captain himself. Hey, we need to win that ball for Daddy because that would really cheer him up. I will now bounce this ball on my head a hundred times. One, two, three, oops. Just a sec. This time for real. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 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 One, two. Oh. All right, maybe I can't bounce it a hundred times. Well, maybe you could make just one tricky shot. A super incredible one. Hey, Cookie here. I will now kick this ball through that door. Then it'll roll down the slide on the other side. Cool, let's try. Ah! Ugh. Ouch! Ouch! I don't think I can do it. I have a really good idea, but to make it work, we'll need a little help from our friends. The kitten's friends agreed to help them perform the ball trick. We ready? Yeah! yeah! All right, let's do it! Now let's send this into the trick shot contest. The next day, they announced the contest winner. And the winner of the trick shot contest huh? is Cat the Artist. Aww. For his creative approach to soccer. He will receive an official team ball from the captain. But we'd also <laughs> like to mention another special video from the Kitty Cats and Friends. No way, they're showing our video. And as a special prize, all these adorable kittens and their parents will receive tickets to the championship game. Awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The stadium is completely full today. The home team leads with a score of two to zero. The captain power kick. The ball soars high into the air and it's fired right into the hands of the lucky young fan. Watching the championship match and cheering for your team from the stands can be a wonderful experience, especially when you're with your family.
ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid, Candy? Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whoa. <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real-life fun fair. Oh, boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride, so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow!
Cookie wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm. I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelts won't hold you in. Whoa! That is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy faces for the picture album. I didn't find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> Oh no, my phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. Huh. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Funfair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. The restaurant. One day, Mommy and Daddy took the kittens to a restaurant to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. We're celebrating with our favorite meal tonight. This place has got the best pumpkin pie in the entire town. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Shh! Hush, kittens. You must mind your manners at a restaurant this night. Oh. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, sir. Allow me to escort your family to your table. Here we are. Uh -huh. Wow, it's a picture from your wedding. You looked really good back then, Mom. <laughs> looked back then? Mommy and Daddy still look just as good. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> ah, oh, we know what we'd like to order. Can you please bring us the specialty of the house, the pumpkin pie? 
but of course. This is boring, guys. Is this any way to have an anniversary celebration? I expected something really fun. Where are the fireworks and balloons? Why are there no rose petals falling from the ceiling? And aren't Dove supposed to hold up a congratulations banner? Uh, this can't be much fun uh, for our poor parents. even better. Well, we can ask the piano player to play a song that our parents love. We can ask the waiter to light some nice romantic candles when he brings us our pie. That's a great idea, Cookie. And I know something we can use instead of rose petals. Pink napkin pieces. Awesome. Operation Celebration begins now. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Daddy? Mm -hmm. May we go to the restroom to wash our paws? Mm -hmm. You may, kittens. Just be careful. The kittens tried their very best to help their parents enjoy their special night. Hmm? Pudding made arrangements with the pianist. As did Cookie with the waiter. <laughs> and Candy collected napkins. I figured out how to turn off the light. The candles will look better in the dark. Now we just need to wait until they bring our pumpkin pie out. Look, it's coming ah. now! All right, it's time! I'm very sorry. Mr. Waiter Cat, you were supposed to light the candles when you brought our pie out. But that wasn't your pie, little ones. It was for that gentle cat there. Whew. Here comes yours now. Oh, no. We wanted to make this the perfect celebration, but we just ruined everything. <laughs> we can see that you tried hard, kittens. It means a lot to us. <laughs> However, it's better if we started heading home. I'm very sorry for all this. I'd like you to have our pie as an apology. Oh, no worries. But you have something big to celebrate, don't you? So please, take it home with you. I have a really good idea. Welcome to Le Fantasti Kitty Cat Restaurant. Might I suggest that you order the specialty of the house? Pumpkin pie. Enjoy. Happy anniversary, my dear wonderful wife. Happy anniversary, darling. Congratulations! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kitty cats made a lovely celebration, just like in a proper restaurant. It was wonderfully festive and very touching for their mommy and dad. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course. Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. 
Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Oh. Oh. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line. Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. <laughs> <laughs>